Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. We have a huge art haul. I spent my holiday money on things at Blick and ordered a couple things on Amazon. I did receive a couple Amazon cards. I'm gonna try the new affiliate program for Amazon. So some of the things that I mentioned in this video will be in the description below. So if you are interested, definitely click on those links and let me know if you purchase any. I <clears throat> would love to hear your feedback on some of these products. I haven't tried some of these and some of these I have. So let's jump into it. So I did open a lot of these because I had to confirm that things were delivered properly and things were okay. So I managed to find the retape on this particular package and I thought it was perfect for the experience of unboxing. So just as a disclaimer, I did open this already, but I just retaped it. All right. So this was a gift from my wife and I'm so excited for these. I've never heard of this company, Calor, and they are soft to the touch, color pencils, Macron Premier, Premium Expert Level color pencils, and they are all in this sort of range that you see here. So very pastel, pink, pinky color. Some of my favorite colors are the pink and purples and blues. So that's that. I'm so excited to use these. I guess I can open them too. Let me grab a pair of scissors. I grabbed my, my paint scraper, which is actually just a blade. So I'm gonna very carefully slice that open. Almost too careful. Okay. And let's take a look. Been dying to open these. Let me know in the comments below if you got anything fun for Christmas or any other holiday that you may celebrate. Ooh, look at those colors. Oh, a nice swatch card with some, what appears to be multi-media paper, very thick. My goodness, look at these colors. So it comes with two layers. Oh, this is convenient that it comes with like a bungee to pull things out. Oh, that's really convenient. Oh, I can see me using all of those greens. That's nice. I'll probably reorganize them because I think Oh my God, look at this green right here. Love that. Okay. Let's do one quick swatch. So this is Y024. Y024. I feel like I'm playing bingo. Yeah, I would, I would definitely want to reorganize these based off of the card because even the card is not organized by the number, which is hard. Okay, Y024. That is turquoise blue right here. Very creamy. I would say they're similar to Prismacolor. All right, so let's jump into the rest of this stuff. I don't think I will be able to open everything on camera, but let's jump into the Amazon things. So some of these things I received 
not in the same package. So I just put everything in the same box again because I wanted to save it for this art haul. And I want to be transparent that I did receive these at different times. All right. So this was a separate purchase. I got Hanamula sketchbooks. If you know and you've watched my previous sketchbook tour, I use this particular sketchbook and I fell in love with the paper quality and how it works with very different mediums. And if you haven't watched that sketchbook tour, definitely check it out. So I bought that again. And then I bought it in um, portrait mode. So landscape and portrait mode. I love this sketchbook. I'm interested to see how this one works with full spreads. I loved how this, this particular sketchbook worked as a full spread. So that's that. I also got in that same package with the Hanamulas, I got another white night set. <clears throat> and this one here is another granulating set for the 12 days of Christmas. I tested out uh, the blue night. I think I was calling it blue sky or blue night because they don't have like name for the palettes. They're just watercolor granulation. Oh, this one it actually does have a name, Natural Earth. So this one's called the Natural Earth palette. So what I like about these is that they're very pigmented and some of the granulations aren't as strong but they're really nice and I'm interested to see how the earth colors do with my landscapes. And I like how this swatch card comes in the proper order of threes whereas my other swatch card came in fours which was very strange. And to keep it going with the Hanamula, I bought these watercolor postcards to give as gifts. Possibly whenever I want to make something. And I just loved how this tin came. So these come with um, watercolor paper in the front and then like s smoother watercolor paper in the back. So technically you can draw on both sides. I wonder if it comes with envelopes. No envelopes, just a foam at the bottom. So I'm excited to use that. So this is Hanamula 230 gram paper rough grain and the size is 4.1 by 5.8 inches whereas my sketchbook is 200 so this paper is a little bit rougher this paper is just a little bit smoother then I purchased these um, everyday fountain pens so I have a lot of fountain pens actually I have the Lamy, I have the um, Noodlers, but I just wanted a pen that was like ready to go. Whereas there are times where like the fountain pens, you usually have to mentally prepare them <laughs> to, to write. And let's see, I'm gonna grab this piece of paper here. So this is called, ooh, that's nice. The Pilot Varsity. Oh yeah, that's nice. And you can sort of Yeah, that's good. Love it. Okay, the last thing I purchased on Amazon was this water bucket. And I've been dying for this water bucket for decades. 
you might just think it's just a water bucket, but this water bucket holds your towel here. And I think sometimes when I'm in the zone, I just want to be able to have dirty water, medium dirty water and clean water to access. And I also like how it has like the ridges at the bottom when I'm cleaning my brushes. Usually when I'm using just a regular glass jar, it doesn't get as clean as I would like. I also like that you can hold your brushes here. You can take this wherever you wanna go and so on. Also, you can carry your brushes here, they mention. So here, here's a sticker, water bucket by Mijello. So for Blick, I spent a nice amount of money that was given to me. I wanted to try things that I haven't tried before and I wanted to just have fun with things. So. Let me actually unpack things because this bag is really noisy and then let's jump into it. Okay, so the first thing I purchased was this Pearlescence Colors Fine Tech watercolor set and I fell in love with the iridescent colors using another palette and I just wanted more iridescentness in my palettes and this is by far the most beautiful thing ever so these particular palettes come you can buy just a single row you can buy this one or there's one that has all of their colors um, they're a little pricey but I'm excited to test these out I could do a review on each of these things we'll see how things line up the next thing I purchased was Caran d'Ache watercolor pencils and to go along with it, I bought this Caran d'Ache coloring pad. So this is not just any Caran d'Ache stuff. This is Keith Haring collaboration Caran d'Ache things. Now I've been dying to open this, so let's open this on camera. Not scary at all. <laughs> so my wife picked some of these things for me. Um, and I was so excited. Okay, first impressions. I'm loving the pencils. These are watercolor pencils. So that means you can use them in any type of way. So some people like to wet their paper and then color. Some people like to color and then wet their paper and blend. It also comes with a, a liner pen. So that's very interesting. It's like a brush pen. Very exciting. The color variations are pretty good for for its pack. So it says it comes with 20 A5 sheets and I'm assuming it comes with two of each of the sketches. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, and it's like watercolor paper. Okay, so it is actually meant for, for this. Does it come? So that's one, that's another, that's that one. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Um, but yeah, I really love his stuff. It's very graphic and illustrative and I'm excited for this. Okay, the next thing I purchased were these black wing mats pencils now I told you how I like to switch things up every now and then and this is like the ultimate betrayal to my 4h pencils 
I'm just so curious to see how these work. And I'm hoping that I grow love for a new type of pencil. The coolest part about this is this. These erasers pop off and you can adjust the eraser as needed. So let's say you get down to just a little bit. You can tuck that down and erase. So the next couple things that I bought were um, things that I either needed or really wanted. And I have been watching my videos back and I've been laughing hysterically because I've been calling this pink opal pink and it's actually opera. I'm not exactly sure how to say it, but I've been calling it opal pink and it's not opal at all. This is a color that I use in every single palette and I must have it in every single palette. I think I have this gouache color already, but I need more. So let me know in the comments below if you say op opera or I don't know. I don't even know. I don't know how you would say that. Opera. I've been calling it opal pink. And these next two things I felt were appropriate because I needed them. So I'm actually going to rip this bag because something is stuck at the bottom. This pencil. And these. Okay, so I didn't need this, but my wife really wanted a nostalgic pencil eraser, which I thought was hilarious. I got this pencil, which is a camel pencil, and it's a multicolor color pencil. So that's going to be fun. I got these brushes, which I use a lot. Not this particular brand, but I saw that they had these on sale for 96 cents so I got six of them <laughs> and I use these for like when I'm painting on canvases and I want to make textured um, effects with my paint these are the brushes that I use they're like hog hair style brushes and I just broke one so I decided to get a bunch of these then I got the view catcher which i've been dying for also and i will like to open this on video because they mention so some of you may know that i'm an interior designer also and the funny thing is that they mentioned this is for landscapes plein air portraits interior design still life photography drawing quilts I cannot imagine taking this anywhere for an interior design project. <laughs> like, this is so funny to me. And it comes with an eight page directional book. Okay, these last few things that I purchased were the most exciting things ever. So let's start with this. <laughs> <laughs> I purchased this little sticker, Basquiat sticker, for my art cart. As you know, my art cart is full of stickers, and I'm so excited to add this one. Then I got the, I'll save the best for last. Then I got the Fiber Castell Gelatos. I've been dying to open this, so let's do it. Okay, so these are color like paint sticks. They're multi-purpose art crayons, water soluble, creamy, vibrant colors. And I have been so into neon colors lately. They look like chopsticks. That's so funny. But there's a lot of color in here. The color stops right here. And like a little goes a long way. And I love water-soluble things. 
So I'm so excited to use that. It comes with a little brush, which is nice. And it also comes with these pads, I guess, if you want to like smudge things out. So there's a firm one and a soft one. And last but not least, Holbein Artist Color Pencils. These things are so fascinating. And I've been so into color pencils lately. These are all the colors that they have. I believe they have, I, th I thought it was 96 colors. I'm not exactly sure. I'll find out for you. 150 colors. The set ended up being the same price as if I were to buy an individual. So I said, let me just purchase these and po possibly go to the one near my home to get the other one. So this is a typical pack. Oh my God, these are so pretty. All right. So that was the Blick and Amazon art haul. And I hope you enjoyed it as much as I have. I will try to leave the affiliate links for the Amazon down below. If that program is up and running, I will try it again. Um, for the Blick things, of course, you can go in person and purchase those or online. I don't have affiliate links for them. Um, let me know what you would like to see me review or test out first. I'm definitely thinking one of these in one of my sketchbooks. I'm so dying to, this is probably the first thing I'm going to do after I'm done this. I hope you enjoy this and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.